In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Craft Niche Analyzer on your computer. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this on a computer that's running a Windows operating system. I'm using Windows 10, but this will work on other Windows versions as well. Now, please note this software doesn't actually work on other uh, operating systems other than Windows and a Mac. So I'll show you the Mac install in another video, but in this one, I'll focus on Windows. But it won't work on, say, an iPad or like um, an Android device because those devices are using a different operating system than Windows. They're using an Android operating system or the iOS operating system. So this won't work like on your smartphone or like your iPad or mobile device or something like that, but it will work on your desktop computer or your laptop. So let's go ahead and show how to do that. Once you've got access to the software, you'll be presented with a download page that looks like, like this that we're looking at right now. And what you have to do is first enter in your email address that you use when you purchased the software. Now once you do that, you go ahead and click Get Download Links. And when you do that, just underneath you'll see the download links appear with these big green buttons. One is for Windows and one is for Macintosh. I'll show the Macintosh in another video. In this one, let's do the Windows download. So all we have to do is click download here. Now I'm using a Chrome web browser. You can use any other web browser like Firefox or in the Microsoft Edge browser or another one if you'd like. So go ahead and click download. Then you wanna download it to your computer. So usually when I download, I just download in my downloads folder here. Of course, you can download to your desktop or you can go ahead and select another folder on your computer. I'm just gonna stick with the downloads folder here and just click download. Uh, sorry, click save. And it'll download the zip file. So here it is right here. And now we can click this. Now sometimes when you download using the Chrome web browser, you might see a warning here. Sometimes Chrome does this where it says this um, this file may be may harm your computer or something like that but you don't have to worry about that because the software I developed it from scratch and I know for a fact that it will never ever harm your computer in any possible way or else I'd be out of business <laughs> so they're just friendly warnings by the Chrome web browser and what you'll you'll always have this little button here so you click that button and there'll be something in here that says keep file anyways like it, it might have like a little red X or something like that or a warning and saying, oh, this might be a bad file. I've never recognized the file or something like that, but don't worry. Just select keep it and you'll be fine. And then it'll allow you to download. Now, if you can't get past that, you can just use Firefox or some other web browser to download it. So once we got that, go ahead and I'm gonna click show in folder. And we could see that I put it in my downloads folder and again, if you don't like it on your download folder, you can always just put it on your desktop. That's pretty easy to find there. So next what we want to do is we have to get the setup file. So the file that we just downloaded is technically called a zip file. It's a compressed file, which means the setup file is inside of this one, but it's compressed. It's just an easier way to sort of um, provide this file through the internet. When you're just providing the, the uh, setup file, sometimes you get all sorts of warnings and all other things. So I always put them in, in a zip file. This makes it more convenient and easier to get my software out to everyone. So what we have to do now is we have to extract it from this file. This is where a lot of people sort of um, get a little bit confused. And don't worry, I, I get it confused too sometimes when I'm downloading and installing software. So let's just try to do it um, the easy way here. So what you wanna do, is most people will actually just go ahead and, and just double click this right away and uh, you'll go right inside and you see the exe file and they'll try to double click this file. Unfortunately, you cannot run an exe file inside of a zip file. And Windows shows some warnings and some weird thing happen and it won't let you. So what you wanna do first is we wanna extract this out of there. And there's so many, so many ways to do it. I'm gonna show you a bunch of ways just so that you um, you have one one way that you would like to use. So what we can do is in Windows 10, there's a bunch of ways. So we can right click and we can select, uh, where is it now? Extract all right here. If I select extract all, it says, okay, where do I wanna extract it? This is, I wanna extract it in the downloads folder and they're gonna create a new folder and extract it and put it inside of that new folder. So. You can do that or you can browse and extract it wherever you want. So I'll, I'll say extract. And you see it created a folder with the same name as a zip file. Now if we double click inside there, now we have access to the exe file. Now we can extract, or now we can install. 
But just before I do that, I want to show you another way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to delete that folder, right click and delete. Another way to do it is on the left hand side here in the, in the Explorer window, you can just select this, right? And you can see what's inside over here. Now what you can do is you can just left click and drag this to one directory up. And now if we click in here, Windows took it out of there and put it in that directory. You can also drag it to any other directory or you can drag it directly to your desktop. So if I just move things out of the way and if I click inside here, I can just drag this right onto my desktop. It just takes a second. And it's right here. Sorry, I had my icons hiding, but there it is on my desktop. All right. So after you get it extracted, now there's actually another way. I might as well show you a third way. You can right click and you can select 7-Zip. 7-Zip is a free software that I use to extract zip files and zip files myself. I love 7-Zip and it's free. And you can get 7-Zip at 7-zip.org org and you can download it right here and it's just for Windows so once we've done that now what we want to do is install the software so the best way to install the software for the first time is right click this and select run as administrator now if you do not see run as administrator don't worry about it just double click this with the left mouse button but I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select this because I can see run as administrator and now you will see, you'll first see this warning. I know some people get a little bit worried when they see this, but don't worry, Windows puts this into your operating system just to make sure you're protected from um, you know, suspicious stuff out there. But uh, like I mentioned before, I develop all my own software. I don't have any programmers, I do it myself. And I know there are no issues with my software at all. I can even show you the source code. I do not even know how to create a virus. So it, it just doesn't make sense for me to do something like that in my business. So you don't have to worry about my software ever hurting your computer. It, just, it simply will not. So all you have to do is when you see this, just click on more info. And then you'll see this little button that says run anyway. So click that and it'll run. And then we want to select accept agreement and then click next. And it'll ask you to do a desktop. Um, I already have it installed on my computer, so um, I don't. it doesn't ask you again, but you can select that if you want to have a desktop icon. And then we can launch it. Now when you first open the software, it's going to ask you to put in the email you use to purchase the software. So again, you have to put your email in there and click register and you're ready to go.